Hey guys, welcome to tonight's Big Brother 19 chat. All right, we're the glasses twins and, and the, the cold, cold shoulder, shoulder twins. This is so sad. Mom just tried to like. <laughs> <laughs> my shoulder kept just tried to out. hold her sleeves up so it would look like we weren't both wearing similar shirts but it wasn't gonna stay that's so sad but anyway let's talk about tonight's episode because it was a whole lot of crazy all right well first of all last night cameron was voted out mm -hmm. and he was very upset about it you know what i'm gonna say something here okay <laughs> Initially, I felt bad for Cameron because as a fellow super fan, that would really suck yeah. to be the first, not only the first one out, but like to barely even get to a play. chance to play. 12 hours worth of play. Right. But then like reading some of his evic post eviction interviews and stuff, I was like reading his pre eviction interviews, I was like well, like he came in with a bad attitude. Like, uh... like he was just gonna whip through this house. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I mean, like I still feel bad, but, but still, whatever. Anyway, right, so let it be. Leave your hand in the comments. Whatever, I don't care. So let's talk about tonight's episode. All right, Christmas knows that two people voted for her. She's glad that she was up on the block because now she could see that two snakes voted for her. Yeah. Well, she's glad that she went for the vote instead of the right. competition too. Right. Because now, yeah, she saw that two people voted for her. She's gonna pew, hunt pew. their asses down. Mm -hmm. She will not rest until they are gone. Well, one of those that people- That was a little scary. One of those people's already losing it. <laughs> yeah, that's Josh. Yo, Josh is crying in the lounge room. It is day two. Josh is crying in the lounge room. <sighs> He was crying be well before this, but he's like he's just really lot. starting to lose it now. He hasn't been he away from his family. family. Yeah, I get that, but like, come on! There's all this craziness going on. How can you even think of what's happening at home right now? You know what? There's a lot of pressure to do well. He talked a big game before going in, and he's he's got to cash those checks that his mouth wrote. I think those checks are gonna bounce. Uh, yeah. <laughs> No, Josh is like if Jose and Devin had a baby. Yes, yes. Right? Yes. Oh my god. Well, Mark is a nice guy and he's trying to get Josh to calm down because uh, this is a lot and he feels bad for him. Like I said, he's a nice guy. Mark is a nice boy. He is a nice boy. <laughs> but Josh is already like, you know what? I don't like that blue haired girl because. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah. During she has a name. It he has a name. Haired girl. <laughs> he said during so that um, safety competition, she was already talking about going after the big guys, and he doesn't like that. He feels threatened by it. She wasn't even talking about no. him, though, because she was sitting right next to him. She yeah, was why talking would about she... it with him. Yeah. She was saying, oh, man, you know, it's unavoidable. Those guys are going to try to start a guy alliance. I don't see anything wrong with what she was saying. But Josh took that as like, you're coming after me. Yeah, well, the Oddball Alliance is actually after Mark, Paul, and Cody. Yeah. That's pretty much what they've decided. Especially Paul, though, because he's a he's vet. He's a vet. They he's can't get target. down with that. <laughs> no. All right, so Josh is freaking literally crying rivers. The you know Hudson River is coming out of one side, and the Mississippi's coming out of the other. You know who he's crying to now? The person he voted out, Christmas. And uh, Christmas is like, I can't deal with this shit. <laughs> She's trying yeah. to comfort him because she knows it's a long ass game and she can't deal with all that crying for He's three months. He's feeling really guilty too because he knows in his heart that he voted for her and she's being so damn nice to him right now. I was waiting for him to say, I thought he was gonna tell her. I voted for you. Yeah, cause he was like, her you know to be like. I gotta tell you something. Yeah. And I was like, oh my god, this is it. Get ready. No. But she, he told her, you need to be careful about who you trust. Especially that blue haired girl, Megan. Ah! Yeah. Yeah. Don't. <laughs> it's like he's dying, and on his dying bed with his last breath, he's like, don't trust Megan, Rosebud. You know? Yeah. All right. But so like, Josh's dumpster fire. <laughs> I'm sorry. No kidding. I gotta say, I really uh, appreciated that Big Brother put in those like unscripted or non-scripted DRs because I feel like a yeah. lot of time we get these like 
package perfect. DRs. Yeah. But this is one of those ones where we get to see somebody who's like a little bit deflated and like yeah. upset. And as awful as that sounds, I really enjoy seeing those DRs because they yeah. feel more genuine. Well, they are 100% real. So I, I hope mean, that's a sign of more things like that to come. If you guys learned anything from BBOTT, we really love the Raw Diary session. Oh, yeah. All right. All right, so the doorbell rings, and that can only mean one thing in the Big Brother house. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's coming in. Oh, who do you think it could be? Is it Tony? <laughs> nope. It's Nicole! Nicole is back! Nicole is back and it's perfect because there's plenty of snakes in the house and now right? there's one more Nicole. Oh, Nicole. Okay, so she is hosting the first HOH competition. She won last season's first HOH and she ended up winning the whole show, as you guys know. So they brought her back and yep. everybody's like, oh my god, it's Nicole. She's like, yep. hi guys! Everyone, What's up? You mean everyone except Kevin who was sitting on the bed like... Oh my god, he was sitting on the couch just Megan's like... like like, she won last season. Oh, what's her name? What's her name? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Kevin's the best. Kevin just keeps delivering. Okay, so anyway, this competition will be four teams done of four. in teams of four. <laughs> two girls, two guys on each team. First team, orange team, Alex, Christmas, Jason, and Ramses. Okay, second team, yellow, Elena, Jillian, Kevin, and Josh. Third team, pink. Dominique, I know it's, it's Dominique. Dominique. <laughs> Jessica, don't be like that. Cody and Matt. Okay, and the final team, the blue team, we've got Paul, Mark, Megan, and Raven. All right, so this is a pretty physical competition. It's a ropes course. Mm -hmm. I again want to applaud BB for stepping up the comp game there. Yep. This was really beautiful to look at, and it was challenging, and I really like the whole concept behind the rotten apples and then there's a golden apple in there that promises you safety. Well, wait, stop. So basically... <laughs> oh, sorry. You gotta explain the rules like three times just like on Big Brother. Oh. So basically, one person from each team goes across the ropes course at a time. Right. They retrieve an apple, bring it back, somebody else goes. But, Until you get eight. Yeah, so each person is supposed to go twice, twice. for their team. Right. But there is Laura's a special... Lava. Golden apple. Golden apple. Yeah, so if you bring back a golden apple, you are safe for the week. Your whole team is safe for right. the week. Right. But if you do that, then that means that <laughs> your team is eliminated and none of them are eligible to be HOH this week. Wow. All right. Also, a little reminder, Kevin has to throw this competition. He can't actively try to win. That's one of the consequences right. for him taking, taking the 25,000. Yeah. So, right off the bat, Josh is the first person to go for his team. Wait, was he the first person or like the second person? I thought he was the first person. I'm not sure if he was first, but he was definitely not the last one. So like, no. Kevin hadn't even gone yet. He's like freaking ready to take his clothes off again because he's freaking out. <laughs> Josh runs across grabs a freaking golden apple and comes back and is like, done. Oh my God. All so of the other teams were basically like, we don't want the golden apple because we yeah, don't want Yeah, they're like, no way. We're going yeah. for this HOH. Exactly. Nobody's going to be that selfish to do that. So he comes back and his team's just like, what? What did you do? Da fook. <laughs> I don't even think the other teams knew what was going on because they were all concentrated on trying to get the apples and everything yeah. as quickly as possible. Not only did he go for it, though, but he came back so so aggressive. Yeah. He was like, you know I had to do that. You know why. He's kind of trying to start an argument with yeah. Jillian here. She's just like, I don't know what the freak you're talking about. Yeah. He's like, I know you guys are coming after me. And she's just like, what are you talking about? This is nuts. Kevin's probably thrilled because I was he didn't thinking, have to worry about throwing anything. Kevin starts putting those clo the clothes back on. He's like, all right, I guess I don't have to throw this competition. So that's great. Yeah. So <laughs> that team is safe, but uh, no, they're he eliminated is, out of the safe. competition. The others can still be nominated. What? Really? Yeah. I thought the whole team was safe. No, he is safe. Oh, that's I why was everybody was team. so upset. No. Okay. So yeah, Josh is still freaking out, and uh, the competition oh, moves on. Poor Mark is such a freaking hero. He his finger is hanging by a thread. I guess he dislocated. Ew. It. Uh, he like came down on it really weird and he is continuing in the competition even though he's dying mm -hmm. 
Cody, uh, I don't know what the hell happened. Cody was coming across the ropes in front of uh, Josh's team. Cody was like freaking tearing through those ropes too. I yeah. when I saw the the course, I expected everybody to like step Stay on the ropes. Of, oh yeah, but people were like swinging, swinging. from them. Ooh. Well, they had looped ropes, and then they also had like Tarzan ropes as so well. You could either so swing, you could swing or you could uh, walk across. I would think all of the women, except for. Uh, Christmas were probably using the loops mm -hmm. and uh, some of the guys <laughs> were using the Tarzan ropes. I don't think there were ropes hanging though like that. So yeah, they were. I think they were using the loops. No, I'm pretty sure there was just, okay. yeah, without the loops. All right, so uh, Cody? He was trying to pass by Josh. the yellow team. Right. And basically says watch out loser <gasps> to Josh. Oh my god. So we're thinking like okay, he must realize that Josh took the golden right. apple. Right. Cuz he's yeah, he was being like, "Hey, you're a jerk. You just, you know, blew it for your team." Yeah, but then later on he's like asking somebody what happened. Like so <laughs> he didn't know that Josh took the no. apple. So he was just calling what's his face? A loser. A loser for no reason. Right out to his face. He's that calling Josh a loser for no reason. There is a lot of um, unabashedly uh, bashing <laughs> going on this season already. Oh my god, I'm two. here for it. <laughs> Alright, so <clears throat> the pink team and the blue team move on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the first Two teams to finish to finish to get eight apples right to the, the final round. Well, Ramsey's was upset because basically it came down to him and injured Mark for the last spot mm -hmm. to advance, and Ramsey's fell off the rope into Aww. the lava, and he was so upset. But it's like when you get the but last I felt out, like he left his team down. It's like when you get the last out in a baseball game. It's not yeah. all your fault, even if it feels like it. Like yeah. other people had to get out too. <laughs> all right, so that aside before we even get to round two there's a josh megan confrontation oh shit josh calls out megan as a snake and says i love everyone in this house except for you and everyone's just like what is going on because this is yeah. like happening for no reason you know who's really going what is going on Megan, because she doesn't know what the hell she did to deserve this. Yeah. So he's so emotional. He runs off and cries. He's like, oh. <laughs> and everyone's just standing there like, yeah. What? Awkward turtles for sure. <laughs> it was super awkward. And again, Josh is being so aggressive. Very aggressive. He caused the car accident and then he sped off because he <laughs> felt, I don't know, whatever. All right. Round two. We got to finish this pig. So you have to balance apples on a shaky tree. I think it was like seven apples. It was a shaky tree. The apples were different weights, so you had to figure out. It was like a puzzle. Right. It was like a puzzle, a 3D puzzle. wrapped in a mobile. Okay. Yeah. All right. So you know BBUS loves those mobile It was puzzles. kind of survivory. Sort of, yeah. You know? So basically, the two teams had to pick one person. Because it can only be one HOH, so yeah. I might as well just cut to the chase right then. But it's not like one of those situations where if the person from your team wins, everybody's safe. No. So, if you want that HOH and you want that safety, you gotta go for it. Well, they thought that the best choices for each team were Paul versus Cody. Right. The two... That's a showdown, because you know Cody hates Paul. Yeah. <laughs> He's all... Real. And Paul's Every all time about Paul's friendship, around. so. Whew, so, okay. Before they get started, Paul is like to Cody, both of us are safe no matter what, right? They shake hands. Yeah. But Cody doesn't really but say Cody anything. Cody just goes. Yeah, it was like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, so then they do round two. Cody wins. It's not even he really that close. Him. Yeah. Paul was having some troubles there. The tree was not only like it, 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 it wasn't just it the branches was like, moving. Work, the work, whole work. tree was moving. Yeah, yeah. So Cody is the first HOH this season. Oh, MG. And then calls all, all right. peace out, guys. <laughs> I gotta go back to my whatever. All right. <laughs> what does that mean? Okay. Because well, she's not with Corey anymore. I don't know who she's with. Why so. is she going back? Why can't she just go back to her life? I'm going back to my dog. Okay. All right. So anyway, 
Josh is not done with Megan. No. Uh, he decides he's gonna make it even worse. He's gonna call out Megan in front of everybody. Oh. This he, is basically a house meeting on day two. Yeah. He said he was sure that he was going home. He ha he has a brain. He thinks. His head is not just a hat rack. He <laughs> again, Megan is just like, what? Are Where you did talking you get about? This like, from? why are you attacking me like this? D did he not call her a bully? I'm not sure about that. I mean, yeah, we miss a lot when the feeds are down in the first week, but I feel like if somebody was like bullying someone else, we would yeah. see it. Yeah, they that would be in the edit. All right, so Josh is like PTSD right now from this whole situation. He goes to Kevin and he's like, Kevin, fill in the blanks here. What happened? Was I like horrible? Did I say bad Kevin's words? Kevin's like, yeah, I mean, you're yelling at that girl. Uh, why, do they, why do they not know each other's names yet? Come on. Because guys don't care. I don't know. But anyway. They just don't care. You're yelling at the girl and she's tearing up and it doesn't look good. And Josh is like, he freaking blacked out. He doesn't even remember what he said. Yeah, he's like blackout angry. It's crazy. <laughs> Will you drink too much milk? It's a lot. It's a lot. All right. Well, we need a little comic relief here. So who's better at comic relief than Paul? No one. Not this season anyway. Uh, Paul puts on Jason, a.k.a. Whistlenuts, assless chaps. You knew a rodeo clown had to bring assless chaps. I didn't think the they were going to come house. out this early. That's true. I think we could have saved this comic relief. I wanted to see more of the drama. Well, I'm sure there'll be plenty more assless chaps in the house. I guess so. So he he doesn't have a bull to ride, so he rides Jason around. And everybody's laughing. They're having a good time. They're Except like, this is for so funny. Cody. Cody. He's like They freaking this. pan over to Cody. He's sitting there like this. He's like burning up. Like holy shit! Spontaneous Cody combustion. I was waiting for the lasers to come out of his eyes and hit Paul. <laughs> Oh my god, Cody just reminds me of like a Mission Impossible, Tom Cruise, serial killer, cyborg. <laughs> okay, I think he looks a lot like Brendan. <laughs> yeah, okay. I and, can see that. You know, Brendan Villegas? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, but like a hundred times more intense. Yeah. Maybe a thousand. He's no big booty, Brendan. <laughs> no. <laughs> big, big booty. All right, so Cody's furious, which brings him to start to think about protecting himself. So He can't do this alone. He needs his uh, bros. Uh, so he wants to team up with Mark and Matt. Oh my god. And they're like, yeah, yeah, sounds good. Sounds but it's like so a weird. love triangle to me. Because those two are so happy-go-lucky, it seems like, and then Cody yeah. is just like, <laughs> All right. It's weird. But then he also has his little... Girlies? Yeah. I didn't like how he's like, okay, we have like the guys, and then like next level is the babes. Yeah, but then a whole nother level is Jessica. <laughs> J-E-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-
which is just to be quiet. Yeah. And, and then the, the other person, person is like, going to feel awkward. Diarrhea out and, of their mouth. And feel the need to talk. Maybe he is doing that on purpose. I don't know. I'm sure he probably is. But it's really putting people on edge. I'm really surprised that she didn't go in there and say, look, we're both military. I know. We should be like military alliance like i know she didn't want to tell everybody that she's got a military background but i feel like this opportunity with cody as the first hoh yeah. and you're not feeling safe i feel like you should try to make that bond with him yeah and she totally blew it she yeah i was really really surprised because i think that really would have resonated with him it would have you know opened right. up a line of communication there but no she didn't go for it well Cody really does not like the Oddball Alliance. Yeah, he does not like like the weirdos of the house. He definitely sees They're it. They're not in... regular like me. Yeah, <laughs> it seems like he's split the house in two here. Right. Uh, but he, what he really hates more than the Oddballs is Paul, and he yeah. really wants to see Paul go. So it's time he wants to backdoor him. He's He's not saying outright that he's going to backdoor Paul, but he's definitely saying it is a possibility. He's got to see how this plays out. Right. So it's time for the nominations. Mm -hmm. And uh, he nominates Jillian and Megan. Ooh. But what happened next, but first, uh, he tells Megan, I nominated you because I just don't like you that much. Oh, shit! Yeah, I never heard that before. Everybody was just like, yeah. <laughs> Not like, hey, you know, you didn't take the time to get to know me. Come on! First week you just say, like, like we didn't get much. a chance to talk that much. Yeah. Whoa, he didn't sugarcoat that at all. And yeah. then for Jillian, he's like, you're, you're guilty by association. Honestly, too, she was already up on the block once. You're on the island of misfits. Unfortunately, once you're up on the block early in the game, people are going to keep using you. You get used to that. Yeah. You get used to seeing that up there. So anyway, wow. Next episode, uh, we're going to find out more about the Den of Temptation. That's pretty exciting. Yeah. Going to find out who America voted for. Who are you voting for? I don't know. I feel like um, Paul's going to win. <laughs> I feel like I'm probably going to vote for Paul. But I don't know if that's a good idea because you can only get the Temptation once. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah, and what if there's something better down the line? People are well, so... Then I'd home. probably vote for Kevin. I don't know. I feel like Kevin's okay now. I don't know. But anyway, I just want to say, I think this season is off to such a great start. It, really it just is. feels, like, different than previous seasons. Like, there's and something better. different about it. Yeah, in a good way. Yeah, it's exciting. In a good way. It's kind of like uh, they brought back the first couple of seasons of Big Brother, and it's got that freshness to it. I think it's, it. it has a lot to do with this cast. I think... Not having all 20-something-year-olds has made a yeah. huge difference. Mm -hmm. So whose ever idea was that? And I just feel like we have different types of people this time. Yeah. I'm really loving it. I'm loving it too, guys. <laughs> so, let us know how much you love it in yeah. the comments. Yeah, and make sure you guys tune in. Tomorrow is the first spoiler video of the oh, season. No. So excited. Very exciting. And until next time, much, much love. love.